y'all. Welcome to the show. Um, today we're going to talk sports. Um, why did I choose this subject? Is this my favorite subject? No. Do I like sports? Yeah. Do I know anything about it? No. Are we going to talk about it today? Mm, yeah. Look at my background. I'm not going to change the background now. So we're going to talk about it. But the reason I actually chose to talk about this today, yes, yes, it was a conscious decision, was because we had a major weekend sports-wise and a lot of like national pride kind of sentiment is going on around. So I have to share this with you, right? Like I can't keep all this to myself. So I think I'm like most Israelis, I love sport when there's like a national reason to love sport. Otherwise, I know squat, um, except for a little bit of basketball, um, which I actually like. And um, I wouldn't mind watching every so often, actually. But that's kind of like the only one that I understand anything about. It's the understanding part. I, like, I have a thing at sports. I just don't understand rules. And then you know, why watch it? So what happened this weekend? Why am I so excited? And why am I being this Israeli who all of a sudden loves sports? <laughs> so here we go. Um, this past weekend, two major things happened. So the first thing that happened was that this dude called Peter won the golden medal at the 2020 European Judo Championship. So he is actually my age, about six months younger um, and he's a judoka and he won and he's the champion and we're so excited and we're so so proud of him um, here is a photo of him kind of like being proud showing off his Israel all right that's Peter um, and he's super proud of being Israeli. We're super proud of him being Israeli. We're like, yay, we're happy. So that's the first thing that happened. And just like a little bit of information about Peter, who he is. So um, he's he was born in 1992, so that's, you know he's my age, and he's been competing for a while. Um, he competes. He used to compete in the under. 100 kilos uh, weight category, you know, they kind of like compete according to weight. Um, but recently he's been uh, competing in the 100 plus kilos um, category. Past September, September of 2019, you know, the year when everything was sane before COVID, um, he won the Israeli championship in the 100 plus kilo category. And then now I guess, he took the next step and he's saying how his dream is that the next step will be uh, the Olympics. And I mean, we've already been there. We were actually really good when it comes to judo and um, the Olympics. So we have um, Yelden Jelby, who you might know, and she actually was in the Olympics. She's just so good. And I find her as an inspiration, I mean, to be honest. Um, and I've heard her speak, actually, uh, several times. And um, she's so inspiring. She's really amazing. So this is Yildin, and like you said, she is super inspiring. Uh, she actually was on Survivor, and she made it to the finals, but she did not win. I think she should have, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, you know, Peter is hoping to make it to the Olympics. We're hoping for him to make it to the Olympics. We're super, super excited. So the other major thing that happened was that this Israeli dude called Denny or Danny, we actually had a, co a conversation here in the family, whether it's Denny or Danny. Um, I don't know. I mean, Wikipedia calls him Denny. We call him Danny, but I don't know. Anyway. This dude, who is only 19 years old, but it's not really only in sports, was drafted to the NBA. He's only the 
third Israeli to be drafted, but he is actually the first Israeli to be uh, drafted in the first 10. I guess that's a thing, right? Um, so he was drafted ninth. See how I'm talking all, you know, sure myself. I know squat about this. I've been reading a lot. So I'm like confident about what I'm saying, but I don't understand anything of what I'm saying. I know what a draft is. I know what numbers are. That's where I am. So, <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about who this guy is and who the people before him were. So the first guy actually to be drafted, first Israeli to be drafted to the NBA, his name was Omri Kasti. That's it. That dude. So he was drafted quite a few years ago um, in, I think, 2006, um, or no, 2009. He was drafted 23rd overall in 2009 by the Sacramento Kings. Now, since then, he's actually had quite a career in the NBA. Um, he was the first Israeli then to be selected in the first round of NBA draft. Um, and then a little bit later, um, the Cleveland Cavaliers traded him in, that was June of 2011. And then he signed with the Houston Rockets in 2013. And then in 2014, he was traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. I don't know how to say that. Um, as part of a three, uh, of, of a three team trade. Um, and then he was there for a while. And then a couple of years ago in 2018, he was signed uh, with Memphis Grizzlies. Um, and then he returns to Israel now. He returned last year and he's playing here again and we love him. So we're happy to have him back. So that was the first Israeli to be drafted to the NBA. Second Israeli to be drafted, his name was Gal. Gal McKill. To be honest, I had no idea who that dude was until like two days ago when they said he, that uh, Danny was the third. And I was like, wait, I know who the first is. This is the third, so who's the second? Um, and then I Googled and found out. So this is this dude. And um, he actually played in the same group that Denny plays in now. Um, so what do we know about him? Quite a bit. So um, he was drafted actually in 2013 um, and he was signed a three-year minimum uh, contract with the Dallas Mavericks. And then that's when he became the second Israeli to join the NBA. And we are so super duper proud of him. So since 2013, he actually also uh, played with the New Orleans Pelicans in 2014. And then he came back um, here in 2016. And then he went a little bit Europe again. I see that he was in St. Petersburg and um, all kind of other places around the world with complicated names. And um, he right now is playing for the Spanish group um, called Unicaja Malaga. Mm -hmm. Yep, right. That's how we say it. Um, so that was Gal, and he's the second guy to be drafted to the NBA. Third guy, the guy we're excited about now, who made this background come to life, um, Denny. So to remind you, this is Denny, who we are so super duper duper proud of, Denny. Um, like you can see, he's wearing the same uh, team shirt because he's from the same team um, as the other guy. And actually, to be honest, um, that's the same group that Omri Kasp is playing in now. So. This is actually my favorite team, Israeli basketball team, and not because they are, I mean, also because they're successful, but 
they have a legacy and they have a history and obviously they have amazing um uh coaches and amazing players and like you see a legacy that this group leaves behind it um so that group's name is maccabi tel aviv their colors are um yellow and blue which is wonderful because blue happens to be my favorite color and then yellow works really well with it um, <laughs> so what do we know about him um so like you said he uh, is 19 years old and he was drafted by the Washington Wizards and he is super excited about that actually. Uh, he was drafted ninth. He is the son of a basketball player. He was actually debuted to the senior team of Maccabi Tel Aviv in 2017 when he was 16 and he became the youngest in the club's history to be there. So that is very, very cool. Um, last year, he was MVP, the Israel League MVP. Um, so this is a guy who we have been seeing a very bright future, and he is proving himself. So this is super, super, super exciting. So I want to share with you this video. The, big, the biggest um, basketball players and trainers and group owners and whatever and created a three minute video, almost four minutes um, of them congratulating him. It's mostly in Hebrew, so I'm not gonna put it on for, for that part, but there is like one part in English, so I am gonna show you that part. It's super cute, it's like, you know, kind of like those birthday videos that are all collaged together. So it's kind of the same thing. Um, so he is, uh, they're all just sending him their support and love and how proud they are. And he has a full nation behind him. Let me share this with you. What's up, what's up, Danny? Danny. Hi, Danny. Danny Akiri. Hey, Danny. Danny Ako. Danny Atotaha. We wish him good luck to the draft. We will be always happy and very proud when we will see him in the future playing in the NBA. Good luck, Danny. Good luck, uh, draft. You deserve it. You did an amazing job. Enjoy your day. And uh, whatever has happened is for good. And I'm sure that you're going to have a great, great, uh, successful career in front of you. So that's just a few people. The first one was their coach and the second was assistant coach. Um, and this group is just known by recruiting the best people. <laughs> So, um, as always, I want to share with you this month's playlist. So, if you're in Spotify, you can find this playlist that I created. Um, it's called Israel Fab November. So, it's not all November. It's like Israel Fab No, N-O-V. Um, and it's made by me, and I'm making it public. And um, what I chose this time, um, what I chose this time to do is to put together a bunch of songs by Israeli singers that are um, in English. So these are either covers that Israeli musicians um, are playing, or these are Israeli musicians that are um, are singing with other uh, American musicians. So there's one with Pitbull and there's one with, um, who are they singing with? Um, the Black Eyed Peas, like they're all kinds of, you know, collaborations. And then we just have some Israeli singers that released one or two songs in English. And then we have Israeli singers that only uh, sing in English. So it's really just all over the map. There are about 20 songs here. Some of them are like more pop. Some of them are uh, more indie. It's like kind of like a good mix of stuff. So even if like one or two songs are 
not your favorite, keep scrolling because um, you might find a song that's actually in your taste. Um, so again, the name is like it says here, Israel Fab Nov. I can find on Spotify. And just to remind you, last month's um, playlist was Israel Fab. And that was just a combination of songs from all decades, all time. Um, just put together a lot of fun songs from different um, genres, different versions. And I'm going to continue sharing this with you. Um, I hope you like this month's video. I hope you like the show. If you have any questions, suggestions, if you want me to talk about something else I know nothing about next month, if you want me to talk about something I do know about next month, um, feel free to leave comments. Feel free to email me. It's my email. Um, feel free to message me on Facebook. Everything is good. I am waiting to hear from you. I miss you guys so, so much and sending you so much love from Israel. Love y'all.